Hi guys, welcome to another Buddy Fellows video. If you like this video, like this video. And if you like my channel, subscribe. Just really help me out. And trying to make this a weekly thing where I just review some projectors. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing our newest projector. This is a Chinon SP330MV Magnetic Sound Super 8 Projector which projects film. That's a pretty long title. Um, I got this projector for 130 bucks. And this was a steal, and I can tell you that. This was an absolute steal. This is the cheapest, like, projector that I've gotten that works and is a sound projector, not a silent one. That is untested. So this one, yeah, just go over the essentials. Real capacity is 600 for Super 8. This is not a dual 8 projector. Um, I'll get into that one later. I love this projector, and I want to go through some of the... This is still really hard to lift. Some of the features on this. So, right there, you can see that red button, and of course that says record, okay? Here is the normal, which is silent. This is the sound film. Uh, this is 24 to 18 frames per second. That barely does anything. I recommend that, I recommend that you warm up the projector on 24 frames. Because the first time it, like that this came, uh, I tried testing this, and... Uh, it just played in slow motion. Um, yeah, it just just played in slow motion, and I can't really say anything about that. Why don't some of my best friends tell me these things? But this is the lens. I don't want to really undo that because that is still set to our Marx Brothers focus. So, I um, wish I might run soon. Not, not, not in this video. Okay, sorry. Um, this is threading. As you can see, this is neutral. This is threading mode. You can see that go down. Then it goes up again. Yeah, and then the reverse and all that. Microphone, audio, um... These three, like, controls, those are just for sound clarity. And I guarantee you, you'll, it's not like, it's not like you don't need them at all because these do play an amazing, like, on the Marx Brothers film, it was so hard to get this. I don't know how to describe this, like, actually correctly working. Uh, I'm gonna, um, yeah, here it is. Hopefully you guys can see this in this terrible glare of a light we have. Oh yeah, you can see it. Um, this is the plate. Really kind of crappy. That's the lamp. This is everything. This is an auto thread, of course. Um... Yeah, it's it's amazing how they do the auto thread. I really love it. Sometimes when you do the auto thread, like like a lot of stuff, um, things don't go as planned. Um, but on this one, this is not giving me trouble, and um, on this one, we'll we'll get to it in a later video, which will probably be next week, hopefully. Cross fingers crossed. Um, Mark S2, d d whatever. Um, yeah, but this gave me threading problems. This is a dual 8 projector sound for Super 8. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, so like you push this down on like that one where you just thread it through. You push that down, hope for the best. The film wasn't catching onto the, like, Thing, even though it was switched, wasn't broken, this was tested, 
this was sold by an official. I think that's all. Um, so we want to talk about. Ah! Oh crap! I can't. I can't lift this. Sorry. That's the Telex projector, and that's a monster in its own. All I can say is, check out next week's video, where we take on that thing. That's all, folks. Yeah, 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 yeah,